Welcome, Libra and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid, which means for you this can resonate past, present, or future. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. I mean, there are, um, there's a lot of things I like about this. Um, okay. The Empress. So, Divine Feminine Energy. This is, this is your energy. This is Libra, also Taurus. Uh, but this is all about fertility, creation, growth. Now, for some of you, this could talk about even pregnancy or new life. Um, now, keep in mind, the pregnancy doesn't mean that all of you are going to you know, have a child, but a pregnancy is symbolic of something that's new, something that's being created, something that's being protected, nurtured. So a new relationship, something evolving, stability, coming together. This is, oh, this is like you're coming together with your person. Like this is two people who are on the same page. This is reconciliation or, or maybe even a reunion. Let's see. What more do we need to know about this situation, please? For the collective. All right, so somebody may be walking away from a past situation, healing from that. This time has come to clear your energy. Let's see. Sometimes for me, the ex card doesn't even necessarily have to be like a lover, okay, or an, an ex partner. I can't talk about like a family member or a friend or someone that, you know, they. It's no longer serving them to be connected to that person or to that individual or even to that thing. It can be something that's hold, held this person back, like an addiction or something they've overcome. So, Ten of Cups with the Sun. You definitely should be thinking about a Leo, specifically. But I feel like with this energy, there can be some kind of family influence here. Like, maybe family would not approve. But there are people in your life who are like, have you not met this person or haven't seen them in a long time? Because I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting sidetracked here, but that's really heavily coming through to me now. Um, like some kind of initial like meeting or something. It's like you cannot let each other go. It's like when you embrace with this person, like they, they just squeeze you tighter and tighter and they just, they're just not letting go. They're just holding on to you. Like they're afraid they're gonna wake up and it's like a dream or something like that. That could, I'm sorry, that could be so specific that just like immediately just got thrown at me. Um, it just had to come out. Just feel like it's been so long since you've connected with this person, or, or you maybe either you haven't seen them in a very long time, or um, maybe you've never met this person in real life or something like that before. We have the Ten of Cups. I think that it's possible that. Family doesn't approve. I kind of get like somebody telling their family, I've met this person, I'm connecting with this person, but it's long distance or X, Y, and Z. And they're like, oh, it's not a good idea, you know, but it's like the thing about it is that you love this person. Now, you may already have a child or they may have a child and that could be part of it as well. I mean, there's family involved here, but this person ultimately makes you really happy. Look, and again, I got that here. Like, maybe you want to have a family with this person. I know some of you are older and saying, I don't want to have any more kids. Well, it could be just combining your families or just creating something new, protecting something. I get like this, um, this energy is kind of interesting of people who are just like negative. People who are like, this is not a good idea. You should stay single or pursue someone else. For some of you who have like a friend of like the opposite gender, this person is deterring you because they're interested in you. Just so that you're aware. But I think ulti maybe they're saying you're too different from each other. I am kind of getting like maybe there's a big age difference between you and this person. I am kind of getting that for some of you. 
Like maybe you come from different cultures or backgrounds. They're like, well, you don't know anything about this person. You shouldn't be with that person. Be with someone like yourself. But I don't think none of that really matters. You, This person makes you extremely happy. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. You want to come together with this person. You love this person. This is your person. Um, I think some of you are very successful and that people are telling you that maybe this person just using you for money or something like that. But that's not, I don't think this person's even asking you for money. Or you're very beautiful or very handsome or very successful. And people are saying, well, that's the reason. That's the reason this person's interested in you. They don't really know you, blah, 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 blah. But that, I don't think that really matters to what the other people have to say about it. It's like, you know, you you trust yourself and your instincts, your intuition here. I think someone's just jealous and they have a crush on you or, or the person of the person. Um, I also feel like there's family who's a tyrant because of culture, religion, background differences. But you want to be with this person. And I don't know why I'm getting this. For some of you, you haven't even been in a relationship in a while. Or it's just really hard for you to like open up or connect with someone. But you feel so passionate and so connected to this person. Like, straight away, it's like really hard for you to just find yourself feeling confident or really interested in someone. But this person, they really stand out from the rest for you. And I think here it's like trying to make a decision to plan for the future to try to make this work. Let's see. Like when you connected with this person, it just kind of made sense. You could be thinking about an Aquarius. Like this person, they are very, it's comforting to be around them. It's comforting to be near them. It's comforting to communicate with them. What happens in the past? What is your, what is your past connection? It's like they were very gentle and very kind and very patient and uh, maybe you were going through certain things and they were there for you and vice versa, like you were there for them, you supported each other, you believe in each other's dreams, you motivate each other, and pe other people cannot understand that. So present. The present. <laughs> Nine of Cups. You're coming together. What are we seeing here? This is wish fulfillment. This is what you've been hoping for. You're coming together with this person and like I said, a long-awaited embrace. It's like you're finally able to hold this person or be close to this person to connect with them in a very romantic or intimate way. You know, it's like your relationship is evolving. Yeah, this is celebration, victory, and success. Finally able to be with your person and you celebrate and you're having a good time. And the future, what does it hold? We have the Ten of Pentacles. We're going from the, from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, listen... Look, look, watch this. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. So what is the outcome? I'm oh, sorry. What does the future look like? What's happening? Okay. It could be that someone is leaving behind a situation or setting clear boundaries. Um, three of Swords. I mean, it can make someone very upset. But they're choosing. Like This is like a commitment for the two of you. They may be releasing an ex or letting something go. A past person or an ex might see it as that door shutting forever because the two of you are coming into an official commitment with each other, which means that they've lost an opportunity to possibly recover the past relationship. Somebody who maybe is very jealous. Knight of Wands. You're very passionate about this person. Now you definitely could be thinking about a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're excited. It's adventurous. It's fun. Like, you've made a decision. Like, you see this as your person. And there may be obstacles here. This definitely can't talk about travel or exploring something new. But I think that you are, like, worried, you know, because maybe you haven't seen this person in a very long time. I don't know why I'm getting with body image issues. Like, you haven't seen this person or maybe you've never met this person. You're worried about this. Um, but don't overthink the situation. Let's see. What do you need to know about it? There may be conflict as well. Like you may be worried that people will have things negative to say, that they're going to try to interfere because of like your different backgrounds or something like that. It could be a Scorpio or an ex or something like that. Try to come between you and your person. I think your fear is that it's going to end because of the negative influences, but I think that your deep hope here is that things will transform and things will begin to grow between you and your person because of how much love you have for each other. Again, I just see like all this positivity when it's just the two of you, but then when, it, when we start looking at all the obstacles and challenges, it seems like there's people everywhere we, everywhere you look. But, you know, the thing is, like, manifesting this. You know, you both want it. You both want commitment here. You want stability. And you definitely could be dealing with a Gemini or Virgo, Earth energy. 
the outcome is the nine of pentacles this is somebody coming in who's offering a commitment who's offering some kind of security yeah someone who a man who's offering his heart uh, king of cups you know you want stability with this person like you see them as the one the person is truly going to make you happy like you've reflected deeply on this situation uh, let's get some cards here and see what messages need to come through for you guys in regards to love also be sure to check out tuesday's tarot she's an incredible reader here on youtube i know you guys will absolutely love her channel and her messages i'm going to link her in the description box below um so also make sure you give her lots of love and support let her know that mystic sent you over i'm going to pull cards from this deck by all things intuitive okay the timing just wasn't right for us so i feel like that's maybe a part of it too like this person, they could be, they could be just now ending a past situation, releasing something from their past. They can move forward with you, or there are people who tried to deter you. But it's like now you have this opportunity. Now you can actually come together to connect. They are saying, "I regret lying to you." So I do feel like there is somebody that has tried to deter you or your person who's tried to come between the two of you. I even feel like maybe your person's. That like their like their ex or something like that tried to tell them like you know you weren't interested or something like that or tried to come up with some kind of excuse why you shouldn't be together. We both know I am not the one for you. They could even be telling this to their ex because again they're releasing the ex person or you could be telling this to somebody else, you know, trying to release that person and they're trying to kind of fight for the connection, but they're saying that you know I love you unconditionally. It's you that they love. So. I feel like this is a situation where your person may have done whatever they could in their power to try to make a situation from the past work. That's why the two of you were not able to come together or be together. Maybe they were listening to other people, you know, who they're realizing it's not a good fit for them anymore because it's just not healthy. It's toxic. There are people who, you know, want to have some, all these excuses, all these reasons why they shouldn't be happy, why the two of you shouldn't be together. But what you need to know here is this is, this is about you and this person who deeply love and care for each other, who want to be in a committed partnership, who are going to try to make that work, try to build on something. You need to protect your relationship here because I see the two of you coming together. They're saying that I love you conditionally. Like whatever fears or insecurities that you have, this person doesn't care about that. They they just love you for who you are. None of this stuff matters to them. So this is what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.